Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or rather I should say welcome back after 3-4 months I guess so in this meanwhile I couldn't post any videos because it was hard at first to adjust to the society here to adjust to the language to study a new language altogether and I had homeworks every day studies every day plus like exams so i couldn't make any video and post it here but today i am here to post a video about my dorm room so a short dorm room tour in this video and it's very hot in korea these days so the temperature is like around 30 degrees celsius outside 30 to 35 degrees celsius mostly and here it's like uh, more humid as compared to where I was in India that is Sikkim so the weather is very hot outside when it rains it's good but right now it's hard time but we got air conditioner so that's the good thing so this is the vending machine where we get our juices water and stuffs so why i'm making this video especially today is because uh, we are shifting to another dorm so right now i'm in m dorm but since there is vacations going on for the students of the regular students not the language students so like we are being asked to shift to a different room or i must say a different dorm itself and these are my stuffs here and this was my room so in korea the rooms don't have keys so there's a password that we must enter the door opens so this was the room that i stayed for like nearly five months here in korea so as you can see there's nothing here right now because i've shifted everything to a new room so i'll be doing the room tour of the honor dorm also in this video itself so this was my closet where i used to keep my stuffs kind of spe spacious so there were three people in one room one two and three so as you enter this was the washroom that where we were it's kind of dirty because we we haven't cleaned it since like seven days because I had already shifted to another dorm and there's like no one staying here. So this is the study table here for the person who has a bed here. And this was my bed, this up one, and this was my study space right here. And this is where I used to keep my food and stuff, my books and this was my study table and these were some motivational quotes that I used to see when I used to feel low or something and here I used to keep my food and snacks and some pin snacks as well and let's see what's this so this is Rosgulla so like I bought it when I went to the Asian Mart here. So that that's it. So that's the Wi-Fi there. We got Wi-Fi in every room. And this is it. This was the room where I stayed for three months. And we also have a balcony here. So I used to dry my clothes out here. And this is the outside view. So now this will be the last day here in this dorm where I've stayed for five months after coming to Korea for the first time. That's the aircon there. I could sleep only because of this for the last one month. If this was not there, I wouldn't be able to sleep because it's so hot. And let's say a goodbye to our room and I'll see you guys in my another room. Bye guys. So yesterday I shifted to this another dorm which is the SN dorm, uh, N is for meal and 
uh, S is for female students. So I'll give you a tour of my room and of the dorm and some common space here. And as you can see, it's raining outside right now. And you know, like these days in Korea, it's like very hot. Plus, because it's raining, it's very humid as well. So the temperature, it's like ranges between 30 to 35 degrees, like where I stay, that's in Chonan and Asan area. So let's go. So this is the SN Endong. So that side it's for female, it's S Dong. And this side is for male, so it's Endong. So there's one global RC launch here for students to just come and relax here. Hi. As you can see here, Marks is very important. That's why I'm wearing a Max here. Cold cases are increasing in Korea these days. So this is the common space where you can sit and study. That's the entrance for female. And this is the entrance for the male room. And this is quite a cozy place to just sit and to relax and to study or to do some work. So let's go to the dorm. Previously we are required to like input our fees here but right now because there's no foreign students here like the population of the dorm is very less we don't have to do so a vending machine here as well and that's me hi so there's total of five floors here and I stay I live on the second floor Let's wait for the elevator. Ah, it will take time. Let's just walk. Let's go. This is taking a long time. So before going to the room, let's have a uh, Let's see the common space. So this is the pantry room. You can just microwave or some wash our utensils, dishes. Anolak. Ayaseo. Ayaseo. Namaste. So we can use this microwave to just microwave our stuffs and heat up some stuffs and we can wash our dishes dishes here. So this is the common space. So in this dorm, it's like uh, room is for four people, but currently it's just me. It's just one person in the room. So this is our floor, second floor. This is water filter here. So this is the launch that every room has. You can just sit, you can just talk with friends, do some work or eat. And that's the common refrigerator that we can use. There's even television here if you want to watch. This is the washroom here. And this is my room. Let's go. So it's messed up. My room is messed up. One, two, three, four. But it's just me. It's just me living in this room for four people and i should say that i am lucky because in other other rooms there's like four people only but it's just me who got like a room for four people and it's just one person that is me and these are the places 
these are like small wardrobes where we can keep our stuffs and this is the bed where i sleep currently and this is the study area for four people and also ac which is the most important thing right now and this is my small workspace i study here i do my work here i do my everything here and this is the area to keep uh, some stuffs keep my books i'm running out of food i need to go and buy food and some snacks and that's it and that's the air fryer which i used to it it, it is of my friend the friend whom we met earlier so like we use that to just you know uh, fry some stuffs so this is outside view from your studio and also like we have a laundry space uh, it's in the first floor where we can lawn where we can wash our stuff so guys i hope you like the video so i'll keep you guys posted from now onwards i'll keep posting stuff i'll keep posting videos and especially like since the under graduation ug gks ug applications are about to begin so i'll be making a whole video series to help help the applicants like how to fill the forms what exactly you need to do to make yourself stand out out of the other applicants so i'll keep you guys posted and i'll make an entire series for the gks applicants also sharing tips how to write personal statement everything so like from now onwards i'll be regular on youtube previously i couldn't be because i had to study i had to study a lot and i had to adjust to the environment here and that's it guys thank you for watching please like the video share the video and do comment and you can ask me your queries in the comment box or you can even dm me on instagram the link will be below but guys please 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 don't ask me generic stuffs on instagram you know like i try to be responsive as much as i can because i know that you all are very curious like you guys have very much questions about gks but first thing is please go and read the application guide first which which is in the starting godia website and after that if you have some questions then you can uh, ask me of course and i'll reply to all the questions that are not generic but like generic questions like please help me uh, please help me in my journey from india to korea so those are the generic questions i can't do anything if you have some specific questions about gks about your application then you can ask me so that's it guys thank you for watching and see you guys in the next video thank you